right, so. I don't normally make like follow-ups to videos. Mainly because I don't really normally have like feedback <clears throat> to go on, to, to follow up on. Um, but I'm doing this as a sort of follow-up to the video I posted titled Cancun and Other Things, or Cancun and More. And I basically want to clarify my position um, and to come at it with a more level head, less emotionally, and just make it absolutely clear what it is that I'm thinking, okay? So basically, I wasn't trying to imply at the time that that Ted Cruz going on this Cancun vacation was like perfectly fine and dandy, A-OK, -okay, and that um, and that any criticism of it at all was automatically invalid. More so, the point I was trying to make was that, for one thing, it didn't have any real-world effects, like physical effects, right? Again, Ted Cruz staying behind wouldn't have changed really much of anything on a, on a physical level. At least in terms of his, um, at least in terms of his, uh, what he has the, the authority to do. <clears throat> uh, another piece of feedback, uh, uh, another part of the feedback I received on it was that, <clears throat> that Ted Cruz being wealthy could have stayed in Texas and used his wealth to help people. Perfectly fair argument. Um... But I think if we're going to go that route, we have to divorce that from Ted Cruz's position as a senator, right? People talk about how he, how he abandoned the state he represents. Yes, Ted Cruz was elected by the people of Texas. Yes, he is a, uh, a, a government official, therefore he's a public servant. But I still maintain my position that a, a senator is different from a representative, right? Right. We've effectively made them societally and in many ways legally the same thing, but I think they are different, right? Ted Cruz is there to represent the state of Texas to the federal government. That is, as far as I'm concerned, the extent of his job as a public servant is to represent the, the Texas state government to the federal government so that the interests of the Texas state government, which ideally should be serving the people anyway, are represented to Congress and to the federal government so that... You know, when uh, if the federal government wants to do something that's bad for the state of for the state of Texas itself, he's there <clears throat> to try to you know do something about that. I get the idea of him being a government official, a public servant, but I mean, at the, in the end, I don't think that blaming Ted Cruz for not, you know standing by, I, I just think there's a bit of an overreaction to it, really. Again, not 100% fine and dandy, but I think there was definitely a big overreaction to it. And I think people are very being very disingenuous in how they frame it. Uh, talking about him being, you know, uh, leaving the people he represented. Again, if you ask me, that's not even technically, like, strictly the case, but I see where you're coming from there. But, If we're going to talk about how Ted Cruz could have stayed behind and used his wealth to help people, we need to divorce that from him being a public servant and being, you know, a representative of the people, uh, supposedly, because, hell, a lot of the people who are doing these lay epic clapbacks at Ted Cruz and all these dunking on and owning Ted Cruz on Twitter and TikTok and stuff... Um, a lot of these people also have money and could have gone to Texas and helped out. Or they could have just donated to to disaster relief in Texas. Ted Cruz could have done the same thing. You know? <sighs> 
from his uh, from his uh, you know vacation in Cancun, which still, if you want to say he should have been in Texas, fine by me. He could have donated money to uh, <clears throat> to 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 you know whoever is on the ground already there, ready to work and needs to like purchase supplies, you know, like ice melter and and furnace fuel and 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 these warming centers that people are putting up. But so too could a lot of Ted Cruz's very wealthy and well-known critics. <clears throat> Again, I'm not trying I was never trying to say that Ted Cruz taking this vacation was just 100% fine and dandy and there's no legitimate criticism of it. And it's like there was, but there was such a huge, such a gross overreaction to it, in my view, that it was, it was basically that, I turned my engine off, so I turned the light back off. It was basically that there was such an overblown overreaction to it, so much BS being flung about it, so many people, you know, just claiming false things like, oh, Ted's a senator, he could have, you know, stayed behind and used his authority to do this and that, which I again explain he has no authority within the state of Texas, but people were claiming that he did and that he should have done something with it. it it's, it's, it's very similar to how when I was in college and Donald Trump was running for president and when he first got elected president in early 2017, a lot of people I knew <clears throat> and actually all throughout his presidency, a lot of people I knew were under the false impression that I was some kind of die-hard, always Trumper, some kind of die-hard supporter that literally believed that the man could do no wrong. And I didn't blame people for thinking that because the, the problem was, I, I, I would tell people, in an ideal world, I would spend 48% of my time responding to legitimate criticisms about him with my own counterpoints, 48% of the time delivering my own legitimate criticisms of him, of which I had my own pl in plenty supply, and 2% of the time dealing with whatever fake made-up BS was being made up and, and thrown at him. But there was so much fake BS being made up and thrown at him, um, that I didn't have time to address legitimate criticisms, let alone offer my own. There just wasn't time for it. And so I was always on the defensive about Trump, and that's why everyone always thought that I was some super diehard supporter of him that thought he could do no wrong. It's kind of a similar-ish scenario, not completely the same, but similar scenario with Ted Cruz's vacation. The reactions to it were so overblown, so disingenuous, so bad as a whole. There was so much bad faith about the whole thing that I really didn't have time, much time, to address any legitimate criticisms, let alone offer my own. And I said in the beginning of my first video on this, the uh, Cancun and more, I said, look, if you want to say that it was bad optics or that he should have, you know, just shown solidarity with his fellow Texans, I completely agree and understand that. I did say that, and I made that, I think, pretty clear in the first video, that the solidarity aspect was one legitimate criticism of it, which I was happy to address and agree with. My point was that it was so overblown, so disingenuous, so awful, was the response to it from you know, Boomer Night Live and Daisy Shitley and so many other people that I, I sort of, I overcompensated basically is what happened. I made myself out to be some kind of supporter that thought that he was perfectly fine taking a vacation because I was overcompensating by going at those people as hard as they were going at Ted Cruz, which was not the right thing to do. I was basically meeting them with equal force, even though I knew the amount of force they were using was wrong to begin with. My whole argument was that the amount of force they were putting behind their criticism was itself wrong, and the way they were going about it was wrong. But, that being said, I just wanted to clarify things from the first video and follow up on it. Um...
so that you guys would understand what my position really is. I wasn't, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not pro Ted Cruz taking a Cancun vacation during the ice storm, okay? <laughs> that's, that's not my position, okay? I'm not over here saying, oh, Ted Cruz going on the vacation, a-okay, 100% legit. I, he, th that decision has my support. No, no, no. That was never the case in the first place. And I may have made it seem like that in the video, which was, which if so was my mistake. But in any case, like I said, just wanted to clarify it. This video is about 10 minutes long now, so I'll cut it here. Anyway, this is North Sea Hero for today. Remember, don't care if you like the video, subscribe, whatever, do so if you like. But the one thing I do want you to do with this video is to share it. Hit the share button, download it. It's going to be Creative Commons. Remix it, do whatever you want with it. Just get my face out there. You know, get this pretty little face out there all in any way you can, positively or negatively. That's all I'm asking for is, you know, the awareness of my channel and what I'm saying. You know, if anyone out there wants to invite me on their Discord stream to debate them, I'd be happy to, whatever. Just trying to, trying to build up the online presence, you know what I'm saying? So sharing this video in any way, shape, or form is the best thing you could do for me. Anyway, this is North Sea Hero, signing out.